You can take a seat for a few moments. I've got a couple of announcements. Uh, first off, uh, really want to draw your attention in the bulletin. You have an insert on the other side of sermon notes. There's an uh, update on our call process, and uh, I mean, we've sent out some information so far on it. But uh, let me just draw your attention to that. And uh, let me summarize it by saying that the call committee, your call committee, of which I'm a member, along with nine other individuals, uh, after interviewing, we have decided to offer uh, Pastor Jay Jackson as the candidate for the lead pastor position. Now, the next major step uh, is for the congregation, the members of the congregation, to vote on whether to accept our uh, recommendation or not. And that will be done after each of the services on the weekend of May 5th and 6th to help prepare for that. What we have decided to do so that we would have time to answer any questions or any concerns you may have, uh, that we will have a meeting on Monday, April 30th, 7 o'clock in the Fellowship Hall, and we invite everyone, all of our members that can possibly come to come and uh, uh, we'll go over our thought process, the workings that we went through. That won't take long, but I mean, we'll describe uh, the interviews and that, that process. And then uh, we'll entertain any questions, any, any comments that you might have uh, in order to help prepare you for making, casting that vote the following weekend. Uh, now, one thing I just want to mention to you is that the call committee has been very diligent in, in doing their uh, duty. Uh, I tried to calculate uh, the other night uh, how much time I personally have spent with the call committee at, during interviews, not just talking to them, but during the interview process and then talking uh, with them and then uh, uh, talking to Pastor Jay when he was here, listening to his message, which I did four times, <laughs> three times, three times here and one to my car on the way home. And uh, I, I agree with most of the comments that were given to me, uh, that they, they certainly thought he, he did a, a wonderful job. I calculate I spent about eight to ten hours with Pastor Jay. Uh, some, some of that was spent just he and I talking together uh, over the phone, getting to know each other, but aunt, my answering is asking him some questions, his answer is asking me some. So uh, I feel very confident, but I want you to feel confident. So if you can make that meeting, that would be great, and we will let... Uh, the Lord lead each one of us in making our decision and casting our ballot. Okay, now, enough for that business. Now, I do want to mention some very good news. Uh, you probably saw it on the screen. We're very close to meeting the objective for the Guatemala uh, trip. Uh, we're about $2,000 short. And knowing Trinity people the way I do, I, I'm, I'm confident we're going to make that. I just want to remind everyone that that money, that $25,000 goes for the construction of the school down in, in El Jute. That's not for the travel and the expenses of the team. They put up their own expense money. Uh, so I uh, just wanted you to understand that. that uh, that's quite, quite an effort on their part and on your part, those who have been contributing. But, you know, we don't contribute to everything, but we contribute to a lot of things. So it, it, uh, nothing gets done around here without the support of you, the congregation. I do have to mention a, a sad note, though. Those of you who knew Eva Wright, uh, Eva was a member here for many of those, probably all of her 90 years. She passed away over a week ago out in Montana with her family. Uh, they are bringing her ashes back, and there will be a memorial service this coming Saturday morning here at 11 o'clock, and uh, from 10 to 11 will be a time for visitation if you are so uh, inclined. And now I'll end with a couple good notes. One is yesterday I had the pleasure of uh, officiating at Bev and Tom Reed's uh, vow renewal service. They renewed their vows of marriage after 50 years of marriage, and I think they deserve a... I wish you 50 more. <laughs>